Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I'm just going to do a quick picture for you today. And uh, I'm sorry that I'm coming on a little bit late, but yesterday I had some eye surgery done. It went very well, but I just want to take it easy on my eyes until uh, they stop feeling so scratchy. Actually, I just had one done. I'm going to have another one done in a few weeks, but everything's fine. And what I wanted to do was to paint this pretty little sprig on the um, from the Blessings of Home stamp set. This is one of the brand new stamp sets that's in the catalog that just went live yesterday. So if you'd like to get the brand new catalog, please go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and subscribe to Notes, and you will get all the information you need to find out about how to get a new catalog, how to sign up for the Watercolor Card Club, and all of my other classes and events that I have coming right up. And after the video today, I will also put those links below. So I have a half a sheet of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So the full size sheet measures five by seven. The half a sheet, which is what I typically use as a card front is three and a half by five. But today I'm going to be using just a quarter of a sheet because I have a special use for this particular piece. So let's just cut this. This is five, so two and a half. Here we go. And I'll get my stamp pad out. I may as well do both of them since I'm going to need a few of these. And let's see, will that fit? Next size. There we go. And for ink, I just, I have some Sahara sand here, but it, you could use any kind of a light ink. It doesn't matter what color it is. Um, I pulled out Sahara sand because it's light and it's kind of a neutral tone, but um, you can just stamp off with any kind of ink that you have. The idea here is not to get outlines. And um, because we're using the water-based ink, Whatever does transfer is, is just going to melt away once we get started painting. I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up. Get you in the frame so you can see. And I don't care if I lose a little bit of the stem, it's primarily the bouquet that I want. So I'm going to get that centered on there somehow. Give that a nice press. Okay, so there's my very faint outline and that's all I need. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other one since I have it right here. Okay. Now, for watercolors, I have um, I have just red, yellow, and blue, and I'm going to use a very small brush because this is such a small picture today. So this is just a, a number four. I wouldn't go any smaller than that. I, I rarely, if ever, use a brush smaller than a number four. You always want to use the largest brush 
um, that you can get away with. And so this four is going to be just right for this project. And I'm going to keep my stamp case handy so I can see where the placement of the flowers are. And if you look closely, it looks like this could be, I don't know, maybe a rose. This Maybe this is a buttercup, maybe some forget-me-nots. So it doesn't, we're not going to be copying this exactly. This is just to give us a, um, a place to begin. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a little bit of green. So I'm just putting my yellow and my blue together. And I'm just going to start painting these stems. leaves. I'm going to add a little more water. It's a little darker than I want it to be right now. Now in the Watercolor Card Club this month, and it, there's still time to uh, sign up if you're interested in um, getting a new subject to paint each month. For this month, we're going to be doing something very much like the bouquet that's in this set. And... I'm going to put that information back on the screen here again. Go to dandelioncottagedesign.com and there is a tab that says Watercolor Card Club. And just click on that and it will take you to a page that will give you all the information about the Watercolor Card Club. And um, because it's the beginning of the year, I thought what I would do is just start at the very beginning and help you with your basic tools and materials, supplies, your setup, and how to paint a, a simple bouquet. And then each month throughout the year, the classes will build on that information and you'll learn how to paint a new subject, you'll learn different techniques, and um, you also have a Zoom, a live Zoom that you can attend and bring your picture with you for critique and to ask questions and you'll also be able to see what what sort of projects everybody else is working on and, um, and it's a really nice group. Each month you get a, a card kit that includes enough materials to paint four note cards with card bases, envelopes, mats, the watercolor paper, and every so often there's a little surprise in there, a little gift from me. And, um, and there's also a Facebook group. So you can post your questions and your, and your pictures on the private Facebook page whenever you like. And, um, and again, see what everybody else is doing as well. It's a lot of fun. So I'm just going into the centers of some of these flowers. I'm going to keep this very simple today. Okay, we're not going to go full tilt here because I'm going to be using this uh, little, little card that I'm making in a project that I have coming right up. And, uh, and I'm not quite ready to tell you anything about it other than it will be a journal and it's going to include some very pretty little inserts like uh, what I'm making here today. Okay now I can see that there's some other little leaves there's some other little leaves around these uh, little blue flowers that I'm going to make blue so let's just get those sort of in the center here
And there we go. And I think I will turn that little flower into a, a buttercup. So I'm going to give that some yellow petals. Just like so. And then I think I'll make the, the rose pink just so that we have all the colors represented here. Okay, so there's my underpainting. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a couple of little details and we'll be done. Hey Sandy, Kelly, Teresa, Ginger, no, I wasn't. I wasn't injured. Thank you, Ginger. No, I just had. Um, I had gone to the eye doctor for a routine visit because I needed to get a new prescription for my glasses, and he didn't like the way the pressure was building up in my eyes, which I guess is something that could be um, something that happens before you get glaucoma. So he wanted to relieve the pressure in my eyes. It was very simple. It was painless, um, but it was uh, it was important to do. So that's what I went ahead and and did, and and it went just fine. So thank you for asking, but nothing to worry about. All right, so I'm just I'm just finding the center vein in these leaves and I'm just modeling them a little bit to give them a little bit of extra form. And um, if you're not familiar with what I mean when I say modeling, then you might want to consider my beginning watercolor course where I go into all of the fundamentals of painting. And uh, that will give you a, a great base, a great place to start with your watercolor painting. And that, by the way, will also be mentioned in the, uh, in the email I sent out. So please go ahead, sign up for notes from Dandelion Cottage, and I will send all that information to you. And if you sign up now, in the beginning of the year, you'll be, you'll be ready to go when we start working on our garden journals and all of the floral paintings that we have coming up throughout the year. Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. I'm going to move on to the flowers, give that a chance to dry. I'll go back to my buttercup. And 
we go. And my little forget me nots. I have I have forget me nots growing in my garden that were given to me by an old friend and she has long since passed and it's just so sweet to see those little forget-me-nots blooming reminding me of her okay so just about done I'll add a few more touches to my rose this is a single rose. Sometimes um, people will call them a dog rose. I'm not sure if that's what the designer had in mind when they designed the stamp, but that's what I'm going to paint it as. So you do, you know, when you when you work from these stamped images and you use them as a place to start, you do have some quite a bit of um, making making your painting your own unique painting. They don't all have to look the same unless of course that's what you want and in that case the stamps are terrific so if you're producing a series of cards and you want them all to look similar that's where the stamps are wonderful you know, for a Christmas card, for instance, and you can just very quickly make all sorts of multiple images. All right, now that's getting kind of wet now. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a chance to dry. And it won't take long because it's pretty dry in here today. We've had the wood stove burning. And I'll go back to the center of my buttercup. It's pretty wet. And then I'm, I'm just going to add some dark accent. So I'm going to take a nice, rich mixture of my green. Plenty of, plenty of pigment, not a lot of water. And I'll just put some ruffles in, in these petals because they, they don't lie flat. They've got a little shape to them. So I'll indicate that.
And you know, the, um, the centers of the flower have a little bit of texture to them with all the stamen. So I'm just going to put a couple of dots to indicate that. The anthers and the stamen. There we go. So that's it. That's my little tiny picture of a little bouquet for you today. And, um, and I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to let this dry. And then once it's dry, I'm going to uh, go in with a... Um, I might go in with a little bit of, of uh, heat embossing and put some gold on here. And, and afterwards, I'm going to cut it out as a little tag, and I will show you what the finished, what the finished um, project looks like in the thumbnail. So you'll come back and take a look at that later today. I think you're going to like it. Thank you very much for joining me. Stay well. Stay happy. Stay creative, and I will see you next time.